But today I want to show you a lighting tip in Unreal Engine 5, and that is using the environment light mixer or the light mixer. So the environment light mixer is basically a object or a window, a menu system that you can use to find your lights in your outliner without having to navigate them and adjust properties in them. So I can very easily use this window, maybe dock it into the very bottom window here and adjust any properties that I would need in my project for my environment lights in particular. That's what the environment light mixer is. So long story short, I do use this on occasion, but basically it's there to identify whether we have everything that we would need for environment lighting. Now I'll be honest, I don't use the environment mixer all that much, but I do use the light mixer. Now the light mixer is gonna be this window here. And when I go ahead and pull this window out, it's giving me a preview of all the lights in my scene. So let's go ahead and dock this into my bottom window here. And what I love about the light mixer is that it allows me to solo lights, as in if I only wanna see what my directional light is doing, I can hit this little, I, I guess it's headphones, and uh, see what this light is doing, and it looks like it's adding some nice golden hour light to my scene. I can go ahead and change the intensity and really just affect this one light and see how it affects my entire scene overall. I can also use this for not just my directional light, but any other light in my scene. I can turn on all these other lights and let's say I have this spotlight and see, oh, hey, what is that doing? This is gonna be my rim light here. So I can go ahead and solo that and see how much rim light we're adding. And very conveniently in the light mixer, we have all these properties that we can have access to, such as the intensity, the light color, the lighting channels, etc. If I go ahead and right click on this window or tab at the very, th this row, I can access a bunch of other light properties that other lights might have, such as cast shadows, barn doors, etc. So the reason why I'm showing you this is if you needed to do a really fine tuned render where you're really manipulating your light, I would control all of your lights using the light mixer because then you can look at it in context of your shot. So let's say hypothetically, I wanted this light, which is basically uh, a spotlight with a gobo, but I didn't like the way the shadows were happening here. So I could first off solo the lights to see what light is contributing the most shadow and it looks like it would be this. And I actually don't like this shadow. And the reason why I'm able to identify that is with the environment light mixer or light mixer, I can go ahead and find the problem lights and be like, oh, you know what? This needs to be a little bit bigger. So if you know anything about lighting, a bigger light source and a softer light source will give you softer shadows. So in this example, I can go to my rectangular light and I can just increase the source, source source width like so and it's gonna make that shadow less harsh by just making it a little bit wider now it's looking a little bit better over there and i can also change the height of this light i can also adjust the intensity and then i can unsolo that and we can see now what this light is contributing and this is help creating that extra fill in this shot so that being said, I just wanted to show you the light mixer today. It's a really easy tool that a lot of people don't seem to know about. So there it is. Hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else. Comment section is, is down there for that as well. And I will leave you with the final tip. Eat, eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some gains. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.